Behind the scenes, behind the lines, inside the stories others won't tell. The Morning Insiders. A Chicago grandmother says her sore knees and ankles make it really hard to try and keep up with her grandbabies and having to park down the street from her house and walk does not help. Which is why she applied for a disabled parking sign. Morning Insider Lord Victory dissects the confusing reason why the city said no. She may have cake in hand, but this grandma isn't up for celebrating much these days. If I swell, I can't do anything. I'm pretty much stuck sitting in the chair watch TV. Thanks to crippling arthritis. When I'm walking, you hear crunch, crunch, crunch. Handicap placard to prove it, Beverly Williams applied for a disabled parking sign right outside her Englewood home. A spot just for her to cut down on the pain of walking. The city took months to respond. Well, I finally got a letter and they said it was too many on the block that I couldn't get one. Apparently, Morgan Street is maxed out on disabled spots. What's the limit? That's where it gets confusing. The Department of Finance referred us to this city code, but told us there's no actual number or percentage to follow. CBS2 analyzed more than 10,000 disabled parking signs registered in Chicago. We found several areas, like the 8,000 block of South Langley, which has more handicapped spots than Beverly Street. Seven there versus five here. And get this. One down the block that they said the lady passed away. Wouldn't be the first time. People are being like threatening. Two Garfield Park women were getting into it with neighbors earlier this year for someone hogging spots that were assigned to disabled but dead people. The city removed those Garfield Park signs after CBS2 reached out. I just want to park in front of my house. Looking for fairness and for at least the parking pain to go away. Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. Now the city provided Lauren with that general information about disabled parking spaces, but spaces, but was unable to get us specific answers about Beverly's case so far.